Hi there, Photoshop Art 160 class. Some people had a little trouble with this particular assignment, so I want to go over some things in Photoshop so you are you can work better with Photoshop. So we've got a chair. We want to do six things to this chair, but the first thing I want to do is select the chair and kind of isolate it from the background to make it stand out and pop. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a little cropping to this chair just to show you the crop tool. You don't have to do this since we're selecting. But I click on the crop tool or hit the C key on the control book panel um, on the um, keyboard and then I can slide it up and down using these handles so I can get out a little bit of extraneous material and it might help a little bit with the selection process as well, make it a little bit easier to work with. Then once I've got this, uh, this uh, part I want cropped, I hit enter, now I've got it. Okay. So in this particular exercise, just like the link we sent you uh, in lindo.com, there is a um, selection tool called the Quick Select tool right here, the top one. And you can also click the W key on the keyboard to get to it. And uh, notice right here, I'm going to use the Z key and zoom in and then go back to the W key. Notice that there's plus signs in here. So what I'm going to do is click, hold, and just start dragging. And it says, oh, I think I know what uh, he's doing. Here's some stuff here. There's more chair here. Oops, got a little bit of wall, but we'll try to straighten that out later. A little bit of wall there. There we go. And we want to get this chair here. So now I've got a pretty good selection. Let me zoom back out using the Option key and the Z key. The Z key and Option. Go back up W for my selection tool. Still got the plus sign, so I want to take away stuff. Uh, so I'm going to hold the Option key down, that becomes a minus sign. So then I can just start moving things back in. Just clicking and dragging it, moving it back in. There we go. So it starts, it's a pretty smart tool. It'll kind of figure out what you're trying to do and get close to the edge. We're not going to do perfection right now. We just want to get it close enough for government work here so we can get most of the chair in a pretty decent fashion. Let's just keep pulling up. Here, going to pull down here. It's not quite knowing what we're doing right here. It's having a little bit of hard time with that. So let's just keep selecting all that. Alright, close enough. I'm going to do Command C or Control C if you have a Windows computer. Then I'm going to go up to the menu, file, new. Uh, I'm going to label this chair 2 with a transparent background. You can also have white or use a background color, but we're just going to start off with transparent. Click OK. I'm going to do either Control V or Command V, depending on whether I have Windows or a Mac. And there is a rough hewn chair right there. And I'm going to put my selection tool in here to see if I can't get a little bit more of this out. Again, this is a rough, a rough area here. Notice I have a blank here. But I've selected that patch of brick and do Command X or Control X. It takes it out. I can also go over here to the eraser tool, zoom in, excuse me, use the C key to zoom in, go to the eraser tool and start erasing some of this chair. I'm missing some, but I can go back and just get that portion, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. I want to show you some other things. So we're just going to erase the major flaws here. Again, the eraser tool is very good. I can make it bigger. There's bracket keys on your keyboard. The left key makes it smaller. The right key makes it bigger. I'm using my um, mouse to scroll over. Okay, so that's about all I'm going to do right now. Because I just once I've got the chair selected, missing a little bit of the chair, I'm going to just show you if I wanted to go back in here and say, okay, I'm going to select the part I missed right in here. Um, Command C, go back over here, Command V, kind of paste it all that stuff back in there. This portion right in here. Um, I'm going to W, select this portion right here, Command X, just to get back close. So we're going to pretend like this is a good selection without going through a lot of trouble. 
Now I want to turn this black and white. I go up to the top where it says Photoshop File Edit Image. Go to Image Adjustments. I can make it black and white at this point. Or, you know, remember we have to have one of these that are in color. So, you know, we can go and uh, open up Image Adjustments Levels. Oh, let's see. Color Level Red. Let's see. We can do that. Color level blue. Do that. We could also go up to image adjustments, hue saturation. Say so let's really saturate those colors and get it to, you know, just using a myriad of tools, um, come up with that. Uh, second chair, the color chair. I'm going to go to adjustments, black and white make it black and white. Also at the top menu there's a thing called filter. I can come up here to stylize, find edges. I can go back to image, uh, adjustments, invert. Makes it into a negative image of itself. So I can keep doing these things and saving as to get my number of chairs. The six ways to see a chair. You know, uh, just filter, stylize, emboss gives a little texture. Those are your chairs. Good luck.